I'm Ben Hawkins, and this is my wife, Amanda Hawkins. Uh, we've been married for 11 years. Um, we have three kids. We have a four-year-old, Luke. We have a seven-year-old, Gracie, and a nine-year-old, Benjamin. When he was born, I mean, he looked perfect. I mean, he had this little jet black head full of hair. But then when we was, I would start to feed him, I would hear him kind of gurgling and kind of choking a little bit. And then like I would stop and it would just kind of like projectile, just everything come back up. And the nurses kept reassuring me that it was normal for babies to have reflux and he was having some trouble putting weight on. He was always in the lower percentile with his weight. That's when we said, you know, it's time to see an, like another doctor or a specialist. But he was diagnosed with esophageal stenosis meaning his esophagus is very narrow um, and it makes it hard for food and liquids to get through his esophagus to his stomach. And they said they could just go in and dilate it. And then like three weeks later, they had to dilate it again. And when they did that, his esophagus tore. And they had warned us with the procedure that if the esophagus tore, he, he could die because of that fluid going into his body. And when they checked his esophagus again, it was already going back small. Like he had just had it done and like five days later it was back. And that was frustrating for us and that scared us. And well, he would say, mommy, why did God make me this way? And that was a really tough question to answer because I was struggling with it myself. And I finally just said, God gives us good things and it's not from him. It's from the enemy, and we just have to stay close to God, and He's going to help you. You're going to eat like everyone else one day. The last thing was left is a surgery, and that was the end of the road for us. I mean, we tried to avoid that the last nine years. It's a risky procedure. It was about 23 hours of surgery total. This is open heart surgery. His esophagus is behind his heart. You're talking. They just saw through his ribs and open him up. He would be in ICU with his esophagus, the upper part in a bag on his chest, like outside of his body. And then your mind starts to think, what if something go is gonna go wrong? But when we went on the fast um, of 2022, 20, instead of only fasting for Benjamin's healing, like we have in the past, we were gonna fast for direction. Um, should we do this surgery? Should we not do this surgery? And while we were on the fast, um, God spoke a verse to me about, it's Psalm 32, eight, about he'll instruct you and just follow him. And this peace just came over me and I just knew that that's what God was saying to trust him with the surgery for our son. I just felt like I could really hear him speaking to me um, to go to Boston, see what the doctors say, and whatever they recommend, do it. Our fast ended right on the day we flew to Boston. And the doctor told us if this was my child, I would do it. So we, we did it. We were told to expect to be there two to three months, and he left in two weeks. Okay. Mama. Jello time. How's it taste? Well, good. And you don't feel it coming back up? Mm -hmm. Woohoo! <laughs> that was a big mouthful, huh? It just stayed down, and I was like, we don't need cups anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted ribs, so we bought him ribs, and he's just gnawing on it's the rib all over his face. I'm like, son, I will buy you all the ribs you want for the, the rest of your life. <laughs> what you got all over your teeth? <laughs> Been eating something. Donuts. <laughs> okay, let's clean that up. I think now he feels more like his peers and his classmates. He's doing his pull-ups, push-ups. His <laughs> legs are not getting tired, so. I would just say that 
If you have a, a big decision to make or you're uncertain about something, um, to fast and God will speak to you and He'll give you direction. Even if it's something you might not want to hear, um, He will be there to walk with you through it. It sustained our faith and our hope in Christ year after year, which led us from one doctor to another that kept our son healthy. And through those fasts, through the prayer, through seeking Christ, it led us to the end of the road, which led us to our miracle.